All right, so this is going to be the start of the Nürburgring trip. So I'll run you through my itinerary because I've spent quite a bit of time this morning organising it. So, all right, so I'm currently in Swindon, which is a pretty interesting town, by the way. So we're going to drive from Swindon all the way, all the way to Dover. And we're going to get on the DFDS boat and there's a DFDS terminal, which is right there. I don't know why it's going back, but anyway, I'll figure that out when I get to <laughs> tomorrow. And then we're actually going from Dover to Dunkirk. To be honest, it was slightly cheaper and it's half an hour difference. So it's two hours compared to an hour and a half on the ferry. I was looking at I was looking at doing the Euro Tunnel. The Euro Tunnel takes 35 minutes but it was going to be £150, whereas the ticket I got was like £88 to go on the ferry. So I thought if it's half price, I'll go on the ferry, you know what I mean? Because, you know, I'm trying to save a few coins wherever I can. So so that'll be good. So we're going to go on the ferry. And then from Dunkirk, I'm going to drive all the way down to Belgium and stay in this Ibis Hotel. So tomorrow, I'm going to be driving all the way from Swindon, which is here, all the way down to Brussels and into the Ibis. So that's, what is it, three and a half hours to Dover. Then from Calais, it's 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 about two hours. So I've got five and a half hours of driving tomorrow. And that's assuming that nothing goes wrong, which, anyway, it's all good. And then this is the hotel I'm staying at. It is practically on the Norch Life. It's really, really close, and it's going to be great. So, all up, it's 10 hours from where I am, which is not actually that far, to be honest, all things considered. So, so yeah, so it's a bit of a last-minute decision. I just thought I was going to go a little bit later, but I just thought I'd just go right now because, well, to be honest, I'm not really sure how much time I'm going to be here for. So I just thought enjoy, I would enjoy it just whilst I can. And yeah, so anyway, that's that's the general gist of things. The unfortunate news... Oh, it's not unfortunate. So I was giving the Mini a bit of a workout the other day and it's going really well. It's just that the brakes, I'll probably get half a lap into it and the brakes, I'll probably lose brakes, but... Anyway, I'll still get to go on the autobahn and go go to the Nürburgring. And to be honest, the first lap I do on the Nürburgring is not going to be, you know, my it's not going to be my best work. Let's put it like that. It's just like going to any racetrack for the first time. You know what I mean? So so yeah, so I'm pretty keen. So what I'm what I'm about to do is I'm about to go to either Sainsbury's or a Morrison's or a Tesco. Probably not a Tesco. And get a whole bunch of food that I can eat as like a backup in terms of gluten-free food because oh, gluten, dairy, shellfish and anything with four legs I can't eat. So I'm just going to get some backup food. Germany's pretty good for that kind of stuff, but you never know. So I'm going to go and do some shopping and yeah, I'll figure it out then. So I've been, so been traveling for a little while now and I really needed to go to a laundromat. And anyway, the ones that were, they were practically all closed or there was one that was asking like, 25 pounds for a load so i thought no that's just a joke so what i did was i'll just show you this because it's kind of funny i went and bought some some uh, washing machine liquid and then i just did my little washing here and i'm just drying my clothes anyway i just thought it was quite funny i just thought i'd just show you that i've got the heater going flat out to hopefully dry my clothes all right we're in the mini I'm gonna go to Tesco. Oh no, I'm not gonna go to Tesco's. I'm gonna go somewhere else. That's a bit weird.
catch up with you in a sec. Got a bit of that. It's gluten free. All right, so it's pretty early the next morning. I'm currently in the hotel car park. I didn't, I didn't pay for parking here, and I didn't get fined, so I'm really excited about that. So after a pretty good start already. But what we're going to do is we're just going to double check the coolant level before we take off on our big road trip today. Yeah, it's about exactly where it was. Cool. So that's what Swingden looks like. It's not too bad, but I'm not in a rush to come back. Tell you that much for free. Oh, wow, it's very exciting, isn't it? Very, very exciting. So we're stuck in some lovely traffic. Just off the M25. Oh. oh god. I was having a nice stretch. <laughs> it's always a funny one. Like when you're on the freeway and then you're in traffic like this. Seems like the left lane or the left two lanes always seem to be moving the most quickly. And then everyone cuts in front to get into the left lane, kind of like I've done here. It doesn't really seem like you end up going anywhere more quickly than if you were in the same lane you just stayed in. Oh yeah. Feel free to comment below your thoughts on which lane to be in whenever you're in traffic. Because that's how exciting this drive is. And I was gonna do more filming of me on the freeway, but then, but then I forgot that it's actually quite boring. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to See you a bit later when we get to the Oak Bay <laughs> or the Airy Fay. I think it might be in a bit of strife because I, I booked the ferry ticket with DFDS. That's quite shaky, isn't it? That's quite exciting. So I booked the ferry ticket with DFDS and then when I was booking online, my phone said, would you like to autofill your details? And I did, because I thought, why not? And then paid for it, well, booked it, paid it, and then I got the email back, like the booking confirmation, and it said something along the lines of, oh, you know, we, you know, we, you know, we wish you a safe trip, Will McCann, which is my name. But on paper, it's not my name. My, my name on my passport is William McCann. And I've got myself down as Will. So, and it's not like I'm catching a ferry to go from one side of the harbour to the other. It's, I'm leaving the UK. Well, it's a, technically it's an international trip. So I'm not sure if they're gonna like it one bit. Anyway, let's see what happens. So I should be there at quarter past 10. It leaves at like 12 o'clock, but you're meant to be there an hour early to check in, but I'm getting there an extra half an hour early to check in, so. Anyway, classic stitch up. Oh shit. Just in the left lane, I just jumped in front. I feel like I've done very well.
traffic, and to be honest, I'm absolutely flying. Did that, <laughs> that person front of so quick? So it says that I'm meant to be there an hour early, which would be ideal, but I've also got to try and I'm probably going to have some problems with my booking, so I'm trying to get there nice and early. Average speed, camera check, yeah, okay, it's time to slow down for this one. Probably get done in for this. So these are all the trucks that are about to hop on the, uh, that are about to hop on the Oat Bay. I've been driving past them for about five minutes. So they're probably exporting a whole bunch of chicken. Wow, we can finally see the water. That's very, very exciting, isn't it? So when I was booking this ticket for the ferry, I wasn't sure what time to go, and there's a ferry going every 30 minutes, every single day. Just think about all the... Just think about all the fuel. Anyway... Oh, here we are. Finally coming into the crux of it. Very exciting. It's quite interesting just looking at all the different trucks in terms of the registration of it. So that one's Austria, Latvia, Poland, Poland, Hungary. I should really concentrate on driving. I'm about to hit them. Latvia, Romania. Romania, Poland, anyway. This is this is the right area because I've got no idea.
over here. different. It's not weird. It's just a bit different. So I finally made it to my hotel in Belgium, the Ibis Styles. It's pretty cheap, it's about $130 a night, which I thought was pretty reasonable, especially because it's Belgium, it's home of Klaus Schwab, the WF Forum, Agenda 21. If you know, you know, anyway. <clears throat> I'll just finish this video off here. And thanks for watching all the way through. That was part one from Swindon to Swindon to Belgium. Part two is coming very soon. So, yeah, stay tuned.